in the part three and part four of the system uh, also include uh, include different uh, types of responsibilities and activities for example in part three we have committee memberships uh, administrative and academic positions and appreciation letters if you have gotten an appreciation letter from the chairperson or the dean or uh, from the Ministry of Higher Education, you will have to enter them here. Uh, so the fields are again similar. Uh, everything here is requested by the ministry, so that's why. Uh, so, so for the attachment, um, you can put in anything that proves that. For example, if you've gotten a, a, an appreciation letter if by an email, you could just screenshot the email and uh, upload it here. Uh, the reason is not mandatory, so um, because it's usually included in the uh, attachment. So part four uh, includes uh, almost like twenty um, parts here. We have twenty types of activities, uh, published papers, papers published in conferences. You do not need to uh, fill in all of them. You only fill uh, the parts where you have activities, for example, if you don't have any papers published in the current academic year, so you do not uh, enter it here, papers published in conferences, uh, but usually most of the uh, continuous academic development points, CAD points, are uh, achieved in this part, which is the part four. Um, if you want to know how many points each of these activities uh, will get you, so you just fill it in and then you will check your records here we have the cat h1 and cat h2 h1 is the active points and h2 is the uh, passive points once you click it now we only have a single uh, point here which was the student supervision so if you add uh, more records here um, if we add more records we will get more uh, points for example if i have a published paper uh, title of the paper just uh, I'm just trying to be fast here so impact factor this should be a number uh, you can mean put in zero if you if it has no impact factor or two but it should be a number here uh, the type local or international the paper the, the journal that you've published your paper in these they have different uh, points for local and international attachment. This, this uh, the attach the first page of your research will be uh, attached here, or the cover page, or the um, acceptance letter from the journal. So anything um, you will receive. So the file types here are JPEG, JPG, or uh, PDF. So uh, okay. The image extension must be okay. Maybe I think I chose a PNG image. That's why it happened. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it was a PNG. Oh, just pictures. Family picture. Okay, the operation was successful. Now if I check my cat H1 and H2, my points, uh, I've gotten five points for the international paper that I had just uh, published. So, uh, the last thing I want to uh, talk about in this video tutorial is your portfolio. We said in the last, in the previous part that we have the points, the cat and the portfolio. So once you click this, you will get the document required by the Ministry of Higher Education with all your information here, including your department, your university name, your college name, everything, or your, for example, our uh, certificates are here. And if you add the other parts, you will get, you will see your uh, uh, information all included here. All you have to do once you've finished it, you have to save this uh, PDF file. Okay, you have to save this file and uh, use it if needed in the future. The, the file will stay in the system, but 
uh, it's recommended that you save a single file up. so if you just con press ctrl p and save it as a pdf here uh, it will be saved uh, in your computer uh, this is the uh, end of the video tutorial i hope it was uh, useful thank you very much